What's happening, people? Welcome back to the Mean Feed podcast from the locations of Hamilton, New Zealand, and the Great Barrier Reef. Uh, I'm joined by my co-host, the man with the most. Uh, he's 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 here joining us from a, a secret location. But if you can look behind, it might give you an idea of where he might be. Look at that that picture esque painting behind, and that lets you know where you're at. And we might need a bit of that tonight especially with uh, how things went on Saturday night. But I'd like to welcome in Josh Gage. How are you doing, my brother? Yeah. Might be a five second, ten second delay there. Can you hear me? Okay, we're, we're quite a bit behind there. You, can you hear me, bro? <laughs> Okay. Uh... Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm good. I'm <laughs> up here in um, Hamilton Island, bro, which is by the Wet Sundays, which is the Great Barrier Reef. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good with you. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's a little bit delayed, um, I think. Wow, um, this is going to be, be an interesting one if it's yeah. a 10-second delay. <laughs> it might be a 20-second delay. Um Okay, we'll we'll have a moment. I might of log out, log back in then. Yeah, okay, just log out, <laughs> just see if we can get you back up to speed. Yep, do that. Um, uh, welcome in Jackson Ford. Good, bro. Uh, you yeah, just just go log out, bro, and, and come back in. Um, we'll we'll, let, we'll we'll wait quickly on that. Um, uh, yep. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry, everyone, for that little um, delay. Um, Josh is going to go out and then come back in. Uh, but welcome, in everyone, on Instagram. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you are on Instagram and if you do have a comment, please um, come over onto Wires Up TV um, and we will um, answer more of your questions on YouTube there. And welcome, in everyone, on Twitter. Uh, I'm trying to open the, um, the, the channels up, the destinations. And uh, yeah, we are on Twitter as well, and I think we're going. We we should be live on a few other platforms soon as well. And welcoming my man uh, Josh Gage back in. Hopefully, the connection's a little bit tighter. Um, but Hamilton Island seems to be a bit a bit of a bit of a blockage there. Are we good? I'm good, bro. Okay, that was about good? five seconds. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. We can live with it. <laughs> Damn, no, you've got a ten second delay. Okay, that's all right. Uh, we'll work with what we, we've got to work with. We'll just have a say your piece and then have a 10 second break and then let the other person come in. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yeah. <coughs> okay. Um, so, yep. Uh, let's get to it, bro. Um, we've had a, a day or two to kind All of. Right. That sounds good. Yeah, let's do that. We can make it work, bro. We can make this work. Okay. Okay. Everything just um yeah yeah um okay. Uh, uh, yeah okay. So uh, just just reflecting on um the Melbourne Storm game on Saturday night. Um, what's your thoughts? And yep, yeah, go. Oh, thirty points to twenty six. Um, I I didn't even want to count those last. Two points that they kicked the goal. That that's still just uh, that still just upset me as well. Um, oh, I think I think I think there was a lot of positives to come out of that game, bro. I think um, looking at the week before, it, you know, and the stuff that we had talked about that I'd, you'd hoped that they'd worked on, and I felt that, like they did. I felt like they worked on it, and uh, and that's positive signs for me, man. And and another big positive about the Warriors, bro, is that we are truly are. Uh, the, the Salvation Army of the NRL. We're just out there helping people with their careers, you know, from other teams. Okay, because let's be honest, Xavier Coates, he was having a pretty bad game up until then, right? Until the last 20 seconds. So you're welcome, brother. You're welcome. It's part of our nature. It's part of our culture um, that we to help people. But we need to start helping ourselves a little bit more now, boys. Like I, 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 We've done enough helping. Um, but what a, what a finish, man. And... 
oh, you know, I, I don't think I'm, I'm too angry with either team winning or losing. Well, obviously, I wanted my team to win, but you can't you can't be angry at that at that game. Yeah. What do you think, bro? No, I I um I I've just said been saying to my. I believe that that second half, like it was like that was like the start of our season. I felt like we finally have arrived, um, and it was almost a perfect thirty-five minutes. I felt, um, and then it just, yeah, there was a, just a freakish um, sequence of plays. Um, I, I give credit to the Storm because they, they, you know, you played for the eighty minutes and that type of thing. But um, yeah, to have a charge down that bounces off that way, and then they regather, and then. That finish, bro, mm. just nuts. Um, mm. But I'm not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. I, I'm, I'm not actually too upset. Um, uh, but when you say 15 straight losses, I just, it just, it makes me really sad. Yeah, mm. that, that, that part just, that, I can't believe it. I really can't believe that, bro. The 15. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, tough. I think of those 15, though, bro, we should have won probably 10 of them. Yeah. I'm being honest. Yeah. There was a few of them we should have won, like, <clears throat> what was it, 2014, I think? <coughs> oh, we, did we win 24? I can't remember which one we won. But, um, yeah, there was definitely a few we should have won, absolutely. And let's not forget the ones where we have beat them. That's the real important ones, right? That's yeah. what put through the finals. And, so, you know, that still haunts the storm. That still haunts them, bro. I know deep down inside that still hurts their feelings. Yep. They're not counting the 15th straight. They're counting the ones that we, – we we win when it counts, okay? We win when it counts. That's where I'm going with that, bro. But, um, yeah, I, I feel like this is partly what uh, – yeah, it was just so – it was it was hard to watch, but you knew it was coming, bro. I don't know if you knew, but I, I, knew, I knew it was coming, and um, – I had just ordered my dinner because I was watching it from my phone at dinner and being un very unsociable at the dinner table. I got in a lot of trouble from that from my wife, actually, because uh, I'm actually on holiday with my in-laws and I didn't pay much attention <laughs> to anything that anyone was saying. <laughs> I was watching the game the whole time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, but, yeah, and it was, it was freaking... Um, <laughs> it was uh, it was freakish, bro. It was freakish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, probably probably gonna be in a lot more trouble than just losing an NRL game. Uh, when we get back to back home, <laughs> 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 but um, no, it was tough, bro. It was it yeah. was a tough. But that last, I, I do think that last sort of few plays you just knew that something was building from them bro. yeah it felt i did it. anyway yeah, and yeah, yeah i knew that oh I, I was sitting there in that last probably last two minutes and i was like yeah bro i was Fuck out of my. Like, in my heart, i was like we are gonna lose <laughs> i can't believe we're gonna lose you can just feel the feel them building bro and yeah like i said full credit to melbourne bro Let, um, let's 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 go through the game nobody likes look. you anyway melbourne yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's let's go let's go let's go back from the first half. Um, that first twenty minutes when they went to eighteen, like well, even before the eighteen six. What were you thinking at that point? <laughs> were, you, were you were you calm or you felt maybe? Um, okay, sorry, Josh is, is just tapped out again. The the Hamilton Islander, the Great Barrier Reef, isn't friendly tonight, um, but hopefully he comes back in. Um, but welcome in everyone. Yeah, we're just reflecting on uh, really a, a tough, tough loss with so much positives. Um, yes, and if you are in on Instagram, please jump in uh, on the on Wilds Up TV on YouTube, uh, and we could get to your comments as well. Um, but yeah, it, it was a tough. If I look back on the start, I'll wait for Josh to come back. But for me personally, the start of the game was um, just. Um, was just was just tough um like we weren't connected together we weren't <clears throat> we weren't um the contact that we were making wasn't we just weren't matching them physically um and i think that's that's what happened in that that one try especially the first one they went literally 80 meters and scored like um i think that was kind of 
that can be. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so that's something else that we will get into. Um, Jacko here saying, Waza must be sulking after that loss. <laughs> you talking about me, man? Nah, I'm not sulking, brother. I think we've we've just begun. I think our journey has just begun. Um, Jacko, can he join your IG live from iPhone? Um, would reduce that. Like, I hope I'm I'm not too sure what what the situation is, but yeah. Um, hopefully we can get it sorted. Hopefully Josh's can get back on. Um, the Warriors first uh, Le- uh, Lakeham. A 2010 says Warriors first 20 was hard to watch, and honestly, I hate that ref. Eh? Speaking of the ref, and I don't usually bag refs, um, but there were just some calls that just took the momentum away from ourselves a lot of the time. Um, he'd stop the play when we we're about to build into something. Here we go. Okay, um, okay. okay brother, we a bit better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, yep. cool, 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 cool. We're sorted. We're sorted. So yeah, we were just talking about the first 20 men. What did you make of that first twenty? Yeah, I looked at I looked at your video, bro. That you and I, I totally agree. That first twenty, our first um, our shape and defense, I think needs needs some is an opportunity there to to do better. Um, I think, but Melbourne do it really well, bro. They dominate the ruck both in attack and defense, and I, mm. I just don't think that first twenty we didn't dominate the ruck, bro. We we got, yeah, we got owned in the ruck in that first twenty. Um, but then I think they just went away, thought about it. Came back, and I think that second half was 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 brilliant. Yeah, bro. No, it was. And then um, the yeah, the, after that, the bench is too. What do you make of Bunty and Walker? I thought they were really good coming on, and kind of uh, we kind of got into a bit of dominance actually from that. Yep. From the eighteen six moving forward. Yeah. Yep. I think um, I think Bunty might have been watching our, our <laughs> show, bro. Uh, <laughs> I think. Quietly, Bunty might have been tuning in um, from where he was and just thinking, you know what? The boys are right. The boys are right. I've got to up yeah. my game. And I think he did. Walker did as well. He connected quite well. But he's he's a real competitor, bro. So I really he is, eh, bro? Yeah. yeah. He's a competitor, bro. He's gone away and thought about it and thought, you know, I need to be better. Um, and I thought he did play better. I thought I thought Lusick, bro, and we'll talk about him re-signing later Yeah. because I think it's a great move. I thought he had a great game, bro. I thought Lusick had a good yep. game. Yep. And um, if I was shouting soft serve 50 cent ice creams at Macca's, guess who's getting one? Lusick. <laughs> <laughs> he's not getting a full Big Mac combo. Yeah, he's, whoa, he's, whoa, he's whoa, getting, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he's getting a, a specifically 50 cent soft serve. <laughs> whoa, whoa, come on, buddy. Yeah, just a 50 just cent a 50 soft serve. Cent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> Even though he's resigned, he, we just want to make sure we, we, we mean what we mean. Um. Now the Montoya one, I've, I've I've harped on a little bit about Montoya um, with the no try. I, am I being too hard? But shouldn't you just shouldn't a winger go for the corner and put the ball on the outside hand, or is there a technique to what Montoya is doing? And I've missed the plot of what he's trying to do. No, no I think that is that is. Uh, I was I was watching the game whilst having dinner with my in laws at this nice restaurant and said the exact same thing, bro. <laughs> like from my little phone that I'm watching, I said the exact same thing, bro. That is. That is junior rugby league stuff. That's junior <laughs> footy stuff, bro. To change hands, eh? It is, man. And your your one job is to finish, bro. Like, so finish. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think Montoya will come away from that game thinking, "Damn, I should have, I should have done that better." Yeah, I've said simple stuff like, I, I, what I couldn't understand is like he wanted to bump the guy off, right? But why not just put it on your left hand and you can still bump him off. But the mm. ball's protected and away from, mm. um, you know, I was like, that was just stupid. Um, yep. But, yeah, moving into that that second half, um, bro, I, we just we kind of dominated them. Eh? I think we got on top of them. Uh, we, we we just kept repeating that kind of grinded out style. Um, then we got a few really good classy tries. I mean, uh, Dallin got a nice – actually, yeah, Dallin got a nice one in the first half. Um, what do you make of? Uh, we talked a little bit about Tuo Picky. You think that link play was a little bit better? Yeah, link play was real good, bro. I think yeah. his timing was back on, and I think he was exactly where he needed to be, which the week before he wasn't. Yeah. And Rocco, I talked about. I like Rocco, bro. Rocco's a gun yeah, player, yeah. and he just wasn't finding that trans. He couldn't transition the ball fast enough. Like he couldn't. And I don't yeah. know whether it was the inside service that he was getting, um, but that set up try for for Dallin. 
I was in there, bro, because the garlic bread had just been arrived at the dinner table, and I was like, boy, I've been telling you to do that. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> boy, I told you. That's exactly what you need to do. So, um, yeah, I was, I was happy with Rocco. To a picky, bro, game – Running meters, bro. His um, he's a, he's a workhorse, man. He's he a, is. He a is. Workhorse, hey? It's underrated what he does. Um, mm. and um, yeah, I, I'm appreciating him every every game. Um, um, yeah, <laughs> Jacko, Jacko, uh, he's 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 scored his meat pie, and he's he's coming to say, I'm sorry, in laws, but Warriors first, family time second. Yeah, I love that. That's it, Jacko, and that's what's going to keep you in the. Uh, that's what's going to keep you in the team, Jacko. That kind of attitude, eh? Hey? That's what we want to see, Jacko, from you. Even though that is probably one of the ugliest tries, bro. That, <laughs> yeah, that, was, a... that was ugly, eh, hey, bro? That there was, was no video ugly. evidence of anything. I was just like, oh, yeah, we'll just give it to these guys. <laughs> 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 oh, it was, that was uh, that was like a rugby union style. I don't know, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. it was it moving it was determination, more. Rocco, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was determination. Good man, good man, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was yeah, two way picky giving me Kevin Lock vibe. Oh, that's a that's a shout there. I like him. Um, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 a little bit of that. You know, it is definitely. He's probably even smaller than Kev, Kevy. What do you reckon? Yeah, he's I've um, I've seen him like in real life and i'm i'm not like a large guy myself and he's he's quite small or he is quite yeah. small but not that that's a bad thing obviously he's playing top yeah. level footy so uh yeah he might be smaller than naughty yeah he probably is yeah 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 but now nah, that that try rocco bro he did all the right yeah his that, that was a nice tap on um then the third try of montoya finally scores but that pass by metcalf I was just beautiful um yeah. but yeah we did really i felt that and then the penalty. Um, do you think we should have got? I know it's twenty twenty hindsight, but at the time, were you feeling comfortable with taking the the two points to go eight up? Yeah, I was. I was. Yeah. That oh, that's the professionalism of the game, and I think another positive too. You got to you got to take any points you can against a team like Melbourne, bro, and and that's evident from the week before where they kept the the premiers, the reigning premiers, they kept them scoreless. So. Um, even to, to put on 26 points on the Melbourne Storm, bro, it was 26, yeah, yeah, 26 points on the Melbourne Storm. That is a huge positive, bro. That's a lot we can take from that because they really pride themselves on their defense, bro. So, um, yeah, yeah, no, I, I thought that was a good idea. You, how, how did you feel about that one? Uh, at the time, I was happy, I was yeah. like, yeah, eight, and I felt like we'd kind of, I felt like we, we got them, we just needed to stick to our game plan and then everything mm. would be all right. Uh, I thought the change up with Ali, we finally saw Ali and what it look, could look like. Were you happy with Ali's minutes and kind of what he did? Yep, I was, bro. I definitely was. I don't. I, I think I would have – I think they bought him out on the right time. Probably could have come on a bit sooner. But, um, no, no, I was really, really happy. I think he's going to be a – he's going to be a stayer, bro, that guy. He's – um, if anything, he's slowly – Making it into the Josh Gage dungeon, bro. He's Ooh. probably the one that's. Ooh, yeah. And when I yep. say dungeon, I mean that in a good way. That means that I, I kind of stalk them, you know, like not like watch them have showers or anything. <laughs> We're, <laughs> clear, We're trying to be clear. Yeah, um, yeah. not watching them have showers. Um, yeah, Charlie Gubb. Not that I. <laughs> <laughs> you've been delivering the toilets, so I watch you shower. But um, no, I think he's he's an he's an awesome talent, bro. Are yeah. You? Yeah, mm -hmm. he is. You can see it. He's, he's got the movement, everything. He's strong. Um, RTS, uh, Tanya's saying RTS unleashed in the second. Yeah, what did you make of RTS in the second half, bro? Ooh, bro. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because at that time, that's when dessert was coming out while we were having dinner. And, um, <laughs> oh, yeah, that was that was some good. That was, I, I ordered the, um, I ordered some, the frile something. It was a, like, something French. Something French fule, like it had someone had put fire on it anyway, and that came out, and that's when I was like, "That's here, here he comes, here he comes, <laughs> oh, yes, here he comes." Uh, the dessert, um, he is a he is a snack and a half. He is a tasty, tasty morsel, RTS. And I thought that second half, bro, he made he made me and he look like his little. I don't want to say bitch, but I just, actually I just said bitch. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> he, um, no, I thought I thought that that second half, bro, and every. Every minute RTS is playing, he is getting better and, and better yep. and, and better. So he, um, yeah, bro, I thought he was gun. I thought he was gun. Yeah, that 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 break on um, Meanie, that was beautiful, man. It was like, um, 
if he'd just gotten that away to Metcalf or, you know, it was so nice. I think, do you, do you think he, if you go back to the first half, he could have tackled Meany a little bit there. Do you think he kind of went for the angle tap or do you think it, he wasn't going to get him? I don't, Meany's fast, bro. Yeah. Meany's real quick. And um, though Roger's quite quick himself, he's not known for his all-out speed, bro. And Meany's yeah. quite quite fast. Um, Yeah, I think he, yeah, I think for, for Rog, Rog will go for every, anything that he can. So, if it was the ankle tap, that's probably the only option that he had, bro. Yeah. Any quick, bro. No, no, he is, he is, he is. Um, yeah, then that, that if we go, yeah, that period, mate, it just felt as though we'd turned the, the corner. Um, we'd we'd proven for me, and I was been I've been big on, you know, like we gotta win games like uh, against top four teams or, or teams that we've lost to traditionally. And I felt like yes, we'd finally turned that corner. Um CHT came on looked pretty good too like just in a small window there uh what'd you make of him he didn't look out of place bro. Yes. yeah that's it that's the word right. yeah. he yep. didn't he looked like he belonged that's coming off a player that he hasn't done anything for 12 months bro he did nothing he 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 went around visiting europe bro and probably having a look at all the nice beaches and spending time with his partner and, and doing some writing some blogs because that's what he does now he's a writer and um yeah, he didn't look out of place at all, bro. He looked good, actually. Yeah, looked good. Looked good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked good. Um, maybe, maybe leave the pad and pen and, and the writing and reading for a little bit. Um, <laughs> we're, 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 you've got this other skill that you're really good at, um, CHT, and we, we really appreciate it. But um, you can always fall back on, on a writing um, career later on. But, you yeah, know, nah, he, look, he looked good. Yeah, and um, any man, any man that gives his uh, left testicle for his team, he deserves another go. That guy deserves another go, bro. <laughs> did he? Did he? Oh, did he actually lose it, or did, was it a oh, ruptured? What's it? Was, it was ruptured, bro. It was ruptured. But I, I saw him. Um, I saw him in the Gold Coast. At, oh, where was he? Just after the season had kind of finished, he was. Uh, well, we were lining up for a, a ride, bro, at uh, Movie World. I was like, oh, yeah, what's up, bro? And he's like, hey, man. And I'm like, I didn't – I was going to ask how his nuts were. Um, <laughs> but it, I don't know. I was like, oh, is this the right time? <laughs> <laughs> and um, and his partner was with him as well. And I was yeah. like, oh, I was going to say, like, you know, can you guys still have kids? But I was like, you know, am I am I in that, in that circle of trust where we can talk about that? <laughs> But so I didn't ask him how his nuts were, bro. But I think it ruptured. I think he ruptured his uh, his balls. <laughs> how do you rupture your balls? <laughs> Was it like a ruptured Achilles? Or what is it? What is it? Hey, it ruptured your nut, bro. Oh, oh. oh I don't even know what. It, I don't want to know what that looks like. Oh. What a, uh, Easy ways to get a vasectomy. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh dear. But he deserves another shot. He deserves yeah, another. Yeah. You can see the weight on the step was to one side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh good time. This is nuts, bro. <laughs> this is nuts. <laughs> this is nuts. Okay. Um, okay, sorry. Back to yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, so yeah. That five minute period, and then we get to that. Uh, let's let's break down those the try because we got hit with it twice. Um, we got hit on the right side, Cape Well got caught out by the Pappenhausen try, and then Jacko Ford got some of it as well. Um, what happened? Is that just a really tough read to make, or we just tired at that time, and or was just pure class by the storm? A bit of bit of all of the above, I think. But when you're you talking about the Pappenhausen try, the yeah, list, yeah, yeah. I think I watched it again just before we jumped on live. Metcalf made a wrong. He yeah, he made a poor defensive read, in my my opinion. I think um, Ali Kator was wrapped up, bro, and he needed to watch that inside man. As a as a link player himself, yeah. you would, I would just think that he would know that that link player is going to come, bro, from the back. Like, is he be thinking like that? Yeah. Um, so I, th I I thought that was a poor. I thought the read could have been better from um, from Metcalf. Yeah. So, yeah. And at that stage, like, because I remember watching it and thinking, oh man, I hope that wasn't Metcalf, because he just went from Luke, Luke to Luke. Yeah. <laughs> he just went back to Luke, bro. <laughs> you're no longer Luke yet. Now you're Luke. Uh, yeah, I thought so. What did you think, bro? Yeah, it, it, yeah. Uh, it looked like the kind of 
Metcalf. I saw Roger was on his outside and he was already, yeah, like you said, I think he had him covered. So he just needed to kind of just spacing and all that type of stuff. Hey, eh? um, yeah, yeah, just that uh, just. But then it was weird. What did they score? And then we got like we had two. Re- they 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 got two repeat sets, but we did really well to like hold them out. Montoya got caught, and then Dallin got caught. And I said, okay, we're we're still going to grind this out. Um, but mate, that now the everyone's complaining on whether. Barnett should have gone for the the charge down. What's your thoughts? No, I think you always you always go for what's in. I, yep. I think you, you always do what's in front of you, bro. I, I think he did the right thing. Yep, I think he did. He tried to make it look like he turned his back at the end to make it not look like a charge down. I don't know, but you weren't kind of fooling anyone there, Mitchie. Um, but no, yep. bro, I, I think that was the right play. I think that was the right play because had they had dropped and got it to to, to level. Yep. Um, you know, we still could have gone on to lose. So, no, I, mm. I think that was the right play. You think it was the right play, bro? Yeah, I was fine with it. Um, I just I thought we needed – we just had to sort of – I think that, that type of situation just like – because the ball bounced around and then we couldn't get our defensive line sorted. And But you felt it, though, eh? It was weird. Like, <laughs> you just mm. knew even off that rebound. It was like, nah, they're going to score some, some way. <clears throat> and then when Coates actually went over, I was thinking – Nah, he didn't get it. I thought he got it short. And then, yeah, first replay, and I'm looking at the left hand, and then I'm, you know, you know. Were you praying for the left hand? I was ready for the left hand to drop. (laughs) I was waiting for that left hand to touch the ground, and it didn't touch the ground. (laughs) Oh, man. I was sick, bro. I was like, yep. Yeah, Inoi Tato, Inoi Tato. Yeah. When he started, when it was like, let us pray. Everybody, let us pray. And then um, I was doing, you know how like um, if you like really slow it down, anyone, even Dallin, when he puts his tries down, there is a little bit of separation, like mm. the tiniest. And I was thinking, there was like a little smidgen of separation there. Can they call it? But you know they're not going to because it's not really separation. It's just sort of, yeah. I'd even um, gone back to the old school rule of, oh, he's at the corner post. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I yeah, just devastation after that. Oh, man. bro, I, you just yeah, I knew it was coming. I was watching that play, and I was you get yeah, I just, and I knew exactly where they were going to score. I don't know why, but I, I was like, yeah, they're going, oh, they're going to go there. And when he jumped, what's that like five meters out, bro? So yeah, don't like it. Yeah, it was. It yeah, was, yeah. Um, oh, and, and Dallin helped him. Um, mm. it kind of he went underneath. <laughs> He did the old, uh, what was it? The old, um, yeah, the cheerleading ones, kind of in a way. Sharks, yeah. Oh. I'm still, I still be amused by it. I'm still like thinking about it. I'm like, how the hell did they win? I just, yeah, um, but, but yeah, I'd rather we lose those tight ones now than when we go yeah. to the grand final. Um, and we'll, we'll take a lot from this, bro. We'll take a lot from this, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and I think. For me, it's like there's so much to take out of it that I would I would just want the boys to just erase that last um, five minutes and and like just mm. take like for me that's kind of freakish how that all panned out um, mm. broken footy that type of thing so yeah um, but Lakeham saying yeah try had every NRL every NRL on their feet yeah oh yeah fan every NRL fan yeah, NRL fan couple couple yep I oh, I use yep. Get a look. Yep. yep. Um, Stales, just tune in. Josh putting in the mahi on holiday. We'd love to see. He absolutely is. Oh, well, it's, it's tough. <laughs> Stales, it's really tough being out here on the uh, tropical island. You know, it was, you know, I'm holding, I'm, I'm doing good though. I'm doing good. I'm holding in there. I'm um, doing the best that I can with what I have. Um, and just a quick, quick break from the, uh, Talking about footy, bro. I just want to acknowledge the uh, original custodians of this land that I'm on holidaying on for the last week, the Ingaro people. Um, mm. This is actually their land, and it was for nine nine thousand years ago. It was, was their land. So, um, yeah, I was happy to read a little bit more about the Tangata Whenua of this of this area, uh, cool. and and um, yeah, and the and the hurt and sorrow as well that they've gone through as well. So I acknowledge that. Um, so yeah, sorry. So, no, no, I mean, mean, yeah, we gotta do knowledge. Uh, knowledge of the Tainui Waikato here and um <laughs> 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 we'll get it. 
<laughs> Let's just start acknowledging everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's their PPI? I forgot their PPI. What is it? Or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, we mm. acknowledge the, uh, the, the, the Kiri Kiri. Or I think it's Ngati Waidere here, where I am. Or Ngati Mahanga. I don't know. Someone will tell me. But yeah. Yep. We acknowledge those people. Um, Absolutely. Now, that's a cool story, bro. That's cool. Did you, did you kind of read up in a book or did you do a little tour today? Or Did a little bit of a tour today. Yeah. Um, I went to a beach called Whitehaven Beach, bro, which is classed as the, the number one beach in Australia. And it's the top 10 beaches in um, in the world. It's a really nice beach, actually, bro. It's so – I mean, there's no kinners. I went for a dive. <laughs> there was nothing to eat. Um, oh, yeah, it was fish and stuff. But, um, yeah, and I did, bro. I read, read a little bit about – the people that were here and it was, it was quite sad bro like um just to be removed from their home and bro and, and as they're being removed they're building resorts here and i kind of felt a bit yeah. oh, pody i found a, i felt a bit bad you know i'm like bro i'm here enjoying this resort and these this poor people were, were removed from their lands bro and taken to somewhere where they don't know um yeah. but anyway just not to get too political but yeah i just acknowledge their uh the ingaro people no mate i mean um <clears throat> So, actually, I'll just get this last one here. Lakeham saying, uh, why don't wingers target the hand or the ball when the player dives like that? Yeah, it's a good – I'm not too sure. So, my funny thing is, like, I was thinking – while watching about saying, why don't we just give up – I suppose you can't give a penalty because, yeah, it would be, like, two points. But shivers, yeah, you do have to just defend it, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, do, do you know much about this, Josh? Why don't yeah, they target they, the hand? Yeah. I think they do, bro. I've seen them practicing – they practice that. Yeah. Uh, and I think just the heat of that moment, I think, you know, you've got a split second to make that decision yeah. on what to do. Yeah. Um, and they will probably go back and look at the video footage, bro, and think, you know, this is what we should have done. We should have done that. You know, and it's kind of the case of, you know, five years on when you're trying to pick up that girl and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, damn, she was keen on me. But it's five years later. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at that now going, should have done that. And I think, I think they... Yeah, they'll look at that, bro, and definitely think that's what we could do next time. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, I think so. Um, but yeah, coming out of that game, what's your takeaways? Are you happy with some of the things that you saw, maybe improvements in, and, and moving forward? How you how you feeling? I think um, I, I think I'll start with our opportunities, bro. Our opportunities that I thought we we can improve is definitely in our our wrestling, bro, and our in our ruck. I think. Mm. Uh, we started to we started to get our own back in the ruck in that second half, which is what I thought changed the game a bit as well. I think we're going to have to continue to work on that that ruck yeah. um, attack and ruck defense, bro. So when we talk yeah. about ruck attack, like when we've got the ball, fast play the balls, make sure you're you know you're you're turtled or you're you're ready to get up and play the ball, and then in defense, putting them on their back, turning them around. And that's all attitude pieces, bro. When you're, you know, the tackle's not complete when you just tackle someone, you've got to put them on their yeah. back, spin them around. Um, so I think, I think Kai Kata France is the, he's, I think he's the wrestling coach for the boys, yeah. at the, for the Warriors. Um, and, and to be honest, that first 20 minutes looked like Hulk Hogan was wrestling, was our wrestling coach. You know? <laughs> <laughs> But a macho man, Randy Savage. So, um, <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, Mr. Kai Cutter France, I don't want to say anything bad because I don't want to get punched in the face, but you no, know, maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, a yeah. little bit of. <clears throat> yeah, um, yeah. yeah, and I think moving forward, oh, we cut out again. Oh, no. Uh, so no, just turn your, turn your video on and off. Uh, can you turn your video on and off? We'll just see if that cut. Um, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Um. Yeah, you there? And you've, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. So, um, yeah. Um, this, I want to know what you think of this. So there was yep. a one yeah, play better. where I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. See your video. That's all right. Yep. Um. <clears throat> yep. What was your thoughts on um? There was one play the tr the Nick Meany try the breakaway try, and if you look the at it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um. The 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 Peppenhausen goes at Metcalf and they go to tackle and then he gets the offload and if you look at it, um, AFB is actually on his way back to set up uh, the defensive line on the blind side to cover in for Metcalf and obviously Ford and then Kate Wells obviously going to go into that A gap defender. Um, 
and we just get exposed off the offload. Do you think that it's I, I, I'm coming to understand that we've got like another high trust model defense? Like if you're those guys that are at the point of contact, you have to wrap up because the other guys aren't gonna hang around and you know check that you're okay. They've got to kind of go up and set that defensive line. Or should we have guys kind of sitting back a little bit more <clears throat> to cover for the offload? What what's your thoughts on that space? Nah, bro. I think we still stay aggressive in defense. And exactly what you said, it's that um it's that have, well you do, bro. When you're in a defensive line, you, you really do have to um trust and have faith in the person on your left and right um that they're gonna do their job. So I definitely don't think we sit back, bro. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. Do you I'm, I'm the same. Yeah. I think it is because you, you got to just like AFB and the, they they were doing the right thing. They were setting up for the next tackle, you know, and they, and to get that line so, sorted. Um, so I, I kind of blame Metcalf and whoever's involved in those tackles, letting those offloads out because you just blim and have to lock them up. Uh, they got to be stronger, you know. Hmm. Um, yep. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay, but but yeah, moving forward, we we. Yeah, we're pretty pretty happy with 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 how things are. Um, I, I mean, take what's what's some of the other positives you've you've taken from that one, bro? Twenty six points, putting twenty six points on Melbourne at any stage of the year is is great. But but do it to do it at the start of the year is really good. That shows up for me. It shows that something's working. Like your attack is working. Your timing's on. Um, you're in the you're you're doing your assignment. You're you're where you need to be. And because we talked about um, where we talked about being clunky last week so they they definitely didn't show that this week and it's only the second round bro so i thought that was a real big real big positive bro to put, put 26 points on um yeah on the storm i thought was good um i thought our back five are just continuing to uh they they're they're forming a cool little yeah there's a niche going on there bro there's there's a vibe going on there and i'm down with it bro i'm down yeah. with it with the amount of work that they're doing um they're really setting the platform those run meters man that we're that we're getting from that back five is uh, it's just primo it's awesome um another positive i took was lusik bro so wade we rely on and wade you could see that he was missing and i think that um lusik a positive for me is that he's really gonna he's gonna fill into that spot bro so it's gonna create a lot more depth for us and it'll help um for wade's game as well i think as well so now yeah. moving forward, I think we're in a good space, bro. To yeah. be like who we are in round two, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. How about you? Yeah. No, I'm the same as you, bro. Funny thing, I just want to touch on quickly on Rocco Berry. I think he's his confidence has just really grown, um, and I think he's rounding out. He's going to be a good player, and even better player in the next couple of years. There was a funny one where he was down the right side, I think, and. Um, he was looking to pass to Dallin, but Dallin wasn't there. And then he got tackled, and he just gave it Dallin this death stare as he's getting tackled, and he's like looking at him like, "Where are you, bro?" And then, <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. Dallin's like, he starts stretching his hammies. He's like, "Oh no, nah, bro, my hammies were blowing out." <laughs> the old, the old hammy trick. Yeah, you know, he, start, he started stretching in front of him, bro. Like, he just looks at him and goes, "Ah, oh, no, 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 bro, my hammies are tight, tight." I'm like, bro. But I, I love that to, from Rocco. You're like. Like he's pretty much telling him, bro, do your job, bro. I'm doing mine. Like, you know, and he's and he's doing it to a more experienced player. So I love that type of confidence from from the young fella. Um, but yeah, I thought that was quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about Rocco being a young fella, but he's been in there for what four years, three, fourth year now? True, true. Yeah, he's been in the system for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Um oh Lakeham calling out it's, it's early days. It might be a little bit early days there, but Montoya or Cossi, man. What oh, what's your thoughts there, Josh? Uh, it's way too early. Way too early. <laughs> way too early. Uh like him, but yeah, I, yeah. I can see where you're going with it, bro. Because I part of me when when old baby didn't switch hands and score that try, <laughs> <laughs> part of me was like, Cossi would have got that try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, no, still a bit too early yet. I, I a bit, little bit early, yeah, yeah, a little bit early, a little, little bit early. early. That's right. Um, yeah, shout out Tarns. Don't get me wrong, which I thought Tane was awesome. We're very lucky to have him there as a backup. Um, Bryce, okay, what's Bryce saying? Stopping the offload and defense is surely a priority. The top teams proved last year that it is as a warrior's weak link, and we saw an example of it. Um, someone as small as Pappenhausen could get an offload off and lead to a try. Like that's just for me, that's unacceptable. 
Um, I'm sure Webby would find that unacceptable. But as an area we need to work on, uh, totally, we both agree with that. I think. Um, yeah. Um, like I'm saying, King Costi would have hugged that line. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. I, I just the, the other. Th yeah, yeah. The other point I had was that um, you see that play that they did. It was like the same as the double block play on the um, right hand side, except Metcalf's doing what Tane was doing. <clears throat> but I think Montoya is just not used to that run. You could just see he pulled up a little bit. He pulled up in that run, and then he kind of just slowed his momentum down just a tad. But with with Dallin, he's so used to getting that ball on the run that he just chases it, runs for that corner. So, um. Sorry, yeah, Josh has just dropped out again. Hamilton on. Anyway, I'll, we'll keep going. He'll come back in. Um, um, I know it's only two ga game two, but do you think Montoya looks better with RTS inside him? Um, yeah, I think he. I think he does. I, I think. I think it's going to grow with time. I think Roger's still on his journey. Um, yeah, Roger's still on his journey to becoming a better center. I think it's going to take a bit more time than what we think. And what we've seen so far is really good, but um, I think they'll come with with some, you know, some some work to do. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll we'll wait in for Josh again. But like, I'll keep answering as many questions as we can. Um, and here he is back again. Yeah, um, but yeah, yeah, bro. We, we're just wrapping up that that corridor. I think we're both pretty happy with how everything's going. Um, should we move on to the to the next topic? Yeah, let's yep. move on. RTS was a Kraken unleashed on the second half on Saturday. Jose, totally agree. Si, senor. Si, <laughs> si senor. Jose. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, we're going to go into, I think we'll, we'll go with um, Freddie Lussick resigning until, was it 2025 or 2026? Mm. Are you happy with that? Um, does it, yeah, how does that feel to you? Yeah, really, really good, bro. That's that's a um, gun signing. When we look around at the availability of hookers at the moment, I just yeah, I feel that's a step in the right direction. Yeah. I feel he's uh, a Wade Egan in about two two more seasons, bro. He'll be as mm. gun as Wade Egan, I think. Maybe even one. Maybe after this season. Um, yeah, no, nah, he's a gun. He's gun, bro. Yeah, I I loved how you played. So he could probably could have played eighty. I think. I yep. think um, easily. <clears throat> There was one pass he did. Um, there was two things I noticed. One was he did one pass where he did the Wade Egan pull on the other side of the ruck, then pass it the opposite side. I thought, okay, he's got something here. He's obviously been working on it. And then there was one where there was one guy at marker, and he didn't exploit the marker defense. And I was thinking, okay, he's got a little bit of way to go here. But, yeah, there was just, you know. And and they'll go away and look at that, bro. They'll yeah. look at those small things. And Wade yeah. will be having a chat to him as well. And that's I think they're a similar play. I'm, a lot of people don't think so, but I, I like to think there's there's some they're similar in the way that they play. And I think he's going to get a lot out of Wade, um, being being under Wade, bro. So now I'm good. Yeah, yeah, he will. Yeah, por favor, uh, Jose. Yeah, si, senor. Very nice. Uh, like like his brother, better. Okay. Uh, Tony T, regardless of the small things that could have changed the result, I think Webby has the, the team right. Yep. Continue to improve, be ruthless, then the small things won't happen as much impact. I just want to mm. go on the bench, bro. Were you happy? I was big on the bench not working the previous week. Um, were you happy with the, how the bench rotations looked? Yeah. Yeah, I was, bro. I, I wasn't um, a, a little bit surprised, but I was kind of happy that not not happy. That's probably not the right word. But Jazz dropping out, CHT moving in. I kind of like that play, and I thought the rotation was good. I would have brought on Ale a little bit earlier, um, but then again, I, I was watching the game from a phone, bro. So I'm sure <laughs> Webby would have Webby would have had a better look look at that than I did. Were you Webby, like an antisocial teenager at the at the dinner table? I, I, was, was, I was I was an antisocial teenager, bro. Um, nobody was really talking to me. <laughs> He wasn't asking me questions, bro. That's like, um, yeah, yeah, I've gotten a bit of trouble on the way back, you know. Do, do you have to watch every single Warriors game? Yes. No, yes, I do, hun. Yes, darling. I have to watch every game. But, yeah, 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 yeah. Why are you asking me this question? <laughs> You've watched uh, me for the last 26 years. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, no. Definitely, I was happy with the bench. You were happy with the bench, bro? Yeah, I loved it. 
I think it was the right balance. Um, yeah, they finally got it right. And it's good to just see. And I think Capewell and Ford played 80. So uh, what did we see? We saw the HIA to Berry and then Walker move to centre. And he's, he's good enough cover, bro, uh, to, to do it for 15, 20 minutes at least. And then, um, yeah, AFB came on. And then was it Torrey went off. And then you got Barnett and Walker that can cover that role. So I mm-hmm. think that's probably about the right bench until Morata comes back and then probably Bunty or probably might be Ali. Ah, hard to say, but yeah, one of those two will definitely drop out. I think um, I like the look of Zion Mayu, bro. I just, yeah, that, that, that young man has got me in the feels. He could be going into the dungeon as well, bro. Oof. Yeah. 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 He's got yeah. me in the feels, that one, bro. That's, um, yeah, that's an AFB in the making, bro, for me. I yeah. can't wait for him to come back and see what happens then. No, I mean, mean. Hey, 50 people in, in, in the chat, 50 people watching, please, if you are here, please give us a like. And if you are here for the first time, give us a subscribe. We really appreciate you guys coming in. Uh, this is a good one from Jose. It's going to be a big ask for the boys to bounce back mentally after that one. Do you guys think another loss is incoming? For me, no. I think I think they'll they'll let that go. If I'm Webby, it's literally a five-minute look or less than that, a minute, and moving on. Um, I don't want, I don't need to hang around and watch that last two minutes and, and reflect on that. I think the majority of what we're doing is good. If you anything, you're just going to say, hey, we need to tidy this up. This is what we're going to do to change that. Um, that's me, bro. What about you, Josh? Yeah, no, definitely, bro. I think we'll gain. They probably had a quick five, um, quick five, two minute chat. Um, and I think Sean Johnson probably had a good chat to them on the field, which was good too, because he was in the moment. They were in that moment together and all. Yeah. Um, well, talking, I think they'll bounce back, bro. Going, moving over to Christchurch. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna. I think they're gonna pump the Raiders. To be honest, bro, said that about the last two games, but I'm feeling <laughs> it this game. <laughs> no, we. we I, I think, like I said, I've, I've said that second half was like start. We, we're into our season. Like we've kicked in. Um, we're ready to go. I thought the attack shape too, bro, was like really a lot more clinical execution wise. Like Capewell, I felt. Is getting his lines right, you know, everyone's kind of clicking. What's your thoughts on, on the attack side? Yeah, yeah, the attack, and that's only second round, bro. That's only second round, so um, yeah, no, I think attack side's looking good. I think for me, Jacko's still, you know, Jacko, I know that you love the show and I love you, love that you to comment in the comment section, but Jacko, Jacko Ford, you gotta, yeah, you gotta miss, you're missing your assignment just, just a little bit, bro, on, on um, those lines that you're running. Yeah. And just a quick howdy to Mali. Looks like a first time commenter, a long time watcher. <laughs> He's in the dungeon. We've been in Mali's dungeon for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> now, nah, good on you, Mali. Great to have you here. Um, we'll touch on this one here. Bro, uh, do you think Cape Wire sometimes looks lost in our systems? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We, um, we do play a basic shape and attack, though, bro. Do you, don't you think? I, I think it is. It looks basic to me. It's just, yeah, possibly, bro. And let's not forget Cape War. Cape War has only just come about into the system. So it might take them a little while to get into to the groove of things. Yeah, it's just going to take it. it yeah. yeah, a few more. I think it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, yeah, I, again, guys like him and Roger, just give them a little bit more. I think Webby, what did Webby say? Give us five weeks. And if we've still got issues by then, then, yeah. So I'll, 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 I'll stick to that. We'll be called five weeks. I'm pretty happy to just wait it out to see what happens till then. Hmm. Um, yeah. Um, now, Metcalf, happy with that re-signing. I know you haven't been too flash on Metcalf. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. But no, I think it's till 2026. Um, yeah, what's your call, bro? Oh, I think um, we're definitely looking towards the future. Um, okay. And he's looks like he's part of the plan. Um, he's got a lot more to learn, which I think he will get a lot out of this season, depending on whether it's um, Sean's last season. I don't know if he's the halfback that we need next year, but um, in saying that, yeah, sure, he's he's it's a good signing, bro. It's a good signing. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think there's uh, room for him to grow. I think maybe me personally watching him, like I want to see him grow right now. It uh, doesn't look like it's quite there. But there is a potential to, yeah, more development under Sean. Uh, he can get more opportunities to, yeah, just to grow. And 
look, it doesn't hurt to have another half. Um, we, I mean, we did that little exercise. He's probably the bottom, you know, four or five of ha- five eights at the moment hmm. uh, with room to grow. I'm not saying that he's, um, yeah, that he, he, he can't grow or he can't develop. But, um, yeah, we think that, I think this is a definitely, yeah, a good signing. I'm pretty, pretty content with it. Hmm. Yeah. You see this backfiring at all? I mean, the comments he's had, he said he's happy with New Zealand. The club's given him an opportunity. I, pro- I suppose that's true. The Sharks got rid of him and, and he's kind of found a home here. But what's your thoughts? Yeah. I mean, that, that, that almost seems to be the standard. All right. This is what you have to say that the Warriors <laughs> gave me, you know, because we've had a couple of players, especially one that's leaving at the end of the year. He said it's roughly the same thing. You know, I feel at home here. Everybody's welcoming. Uh, you know, when you're a warrior, you're a warrior for <laughs> life. <laughs> I was in, oh, when I heard that one, I know that, that was a bit of a stretch when I heard. Uh, even though you've only played one game, you're still a warrior for life. I'm like, no, nah, you're not broken. No, no, nah, nah, bro. There's a there's a whole list of like Joel Moons. <laughs> there's a whole you know, list of Joel Moon players, bro. And they're fullback from um, from England. You know, they're, they're not warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Greg Alexander, he's not a warrior. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that was a stretch. That one, I was like, nah. <laughs> oh, just like, looking looking at the market, bro. There's nothing. Like, I don't think there's anyone that we could offer. Like, it, in yeah. our younger grades, maybe there might be a, a young player that I haven't really been watching the, you know, Harold Matthews or anything like that or SG yeah. Ball, but there might be a younger, younger guy coming up. So, um, yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know if he's the halfback, though. Yeah. Okay. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I think if you're looking at that group of what CHT, um, Metcalf to Mighty at the moment, yeah, it doesn't really make feel feel confident post Sean, but. Oh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it, though, for now. Yeah. Um, uh, what else we got here? <clears throat> yeah, a lot of you guys saying Metcalf improving all the, all the time. Uh, what's this comment here? Metcalf one was, I, w- I always wanted that, just I'm going to back me a fuel up. Yep, yep, and I think that's that's fair. Um, what do we got here? Um, just praise the gods, Big Nelson wasn't <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't want to look too much into that either. I think we had Egan out, we had Marata out. Like there's 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 outs for both sides, but the team that kept the Panthers, well, it could have been a rusty Panthers as well to eight points, uh, zero points, to put twenty six on them pretty comfortably and dominate the game. Um, that tells me a lot that this team is actually geared to go. Like we've we've got yeah, there's I feel confident that we're gonna carry on from here hmm. um I, yeah I, what do you think do you i don't like that kind of when you're you're adding off oh, nas was there or monster bro it would have been 40 nil or you know whatever it is yeah um, i agree with you bro we we had players out. we had a well you know a half our spine was out bro cnk wasn't playing yeah uh, wade egan was out marata yeah no no we we had a few players out bro so and Big Nelson, he just seems to pump himself up when he plays the Warriors. Anyway, it's not our fault, bro, that you didn't play for the Warriors. That's why he <laughs> seems to get angry on it. Yeah, they all do, bro. Just all the ones up. that Yeah, no, they do. Um Okay, let's let's move on um to the Raiders, bro. Have you watched much Raiders games? I haven't really I know they're like the top of the table at the moment, but it's two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, bro, they they played the Tigers last week, so it's hard to gauge where they're at because the tigers looking patches look good against the um against the raiders I, i'm more so like i definitely think we're going to pump them the raiders this week 13 plus <laughs> uh, but <laughs> i just <laughs> i don't think they've got they've got they, they just don't have a the strike power bro i like jamal uh jamal fogarty their halfback i yeah. think he's a gun uh, i think but i think whiten's a big loss for them as well yeah jack whiten so um, I think our pack matches their pack easily. I think our pack's probably a little bit better. Our bench is definitely better. Um, and our back five are definitely better as well, depending on um if uh Jordan Rupp on a place fullback this week. So I think I think play for player player for player, I think we're we're better than they are, to be honest. Go okay, the green machine, yeah, do the little clap. Yeah, let's do our little <laughs> clap. Um <laughs> Ricky's gonna come out after the game, bro. He's gonna like start being yeah, oh, about yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's gonna go straight into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, will, yeah. he will once we pump them. Yeah, 
No, nah, I I totally agree with you, bro. I think we 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 win this one pretty comfortably at the moment. Um, yeah. Do you think uh, what where are we tracking with Marata and Egan and even C and K? Are we a little bit behind there? Anyone know about that? I, I think the fact that they earlier on the week last week they put Wade to play. I think that's that's a good sign that he may play this week. Um. But I'm still, still happy with how Lusik played anyway. So um, Marats is a big loss. So I think Marats is the one player that we need to come back at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, El Matador, obviously the fellow that goes to the trainings um, and, and, and is in, actually in the team, but his burner, burner account. Egan has a chance to return this week. Do we risk him with how well Lusik played on, on Saturday? I oh, don't risk it, but um, I think... Yeah, what's your thoughts? Are you happy with Lusik in this matchup? I think yeah. I think he matches up well physically with um with with Canberra. I, I thought, mm. yeah, I got no issue yeah. there. I don't. I think it's Maratza. I think would be a good addition. Even yeah. chance, but I think Topic is doing a great job as well. Yeah, no, he is. C and K for uh, round four. Yep. Yeah, just on to Picky man. Like he had some really good runs. Like, um. That yeah, he, he he man, he's he's a good good player, eh, bro? I think I'm really happy to have him like as our fullback cover guy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I think he definitely sits there above Rog in the full. Not not saying that he's better than Rog. I think he's definitely earned that spot to be second second fullback behind CNK. Yeah. No, definitely. Um. Okay, you I mean, uh, have you watched much uh, other NRL stuff at the moment? Um, oh, I haven't, bro. I watched a couple of games. Um, you know, St. George, St. George. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> oh, the big red V. What's happened? What was all Flanagan saying the week before? Yeah. <laughs> oh, bro. Just stick to your peptides, mate. Stick to giving your team <laughs> steroids. That's um, <laughs> the dosages were off this week. Yeah, they were way off, way off this week. <laughs> I thought they they just look so. Uh, they've got that real good fullback. He's gone. Yeah. He ain't gonna last there, bro. They better watch out. He ain't gonna last. I feel like the Rabbitohs are gonna go and get him because I watched a Troll Mitchell play against the Broncos. Bro, that guy is. He, he looks like a sookie. Like you know, I say that nicely, but uh, he looks like such a sook, bro. You know, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, there's little kids when you play cricket or whatever and you pump him and he just <laughs> take his cricket set and go home. Like, yeah. he looks like that guy, bro. He looked amateurish, bro, on um, the trail, I thought. I, and from a senior player like him, if that's if that's the attitude of your senior player in your club, you're, I'd be pretty, yeah, I'd be pretty angry, pretty yep. upset about, about it. Um, Cody Walker seems to be the same as well. Yeah, they're both the same attitude. I've always, when I look at Souths, I just, they just, they're the kids that um, kick you on the ground, eh, when, when, you, you, when you're holding on in the tackle, you know, <laughs> and they just they just stick it into your stomach or your head or wherever, because they, they, they can't handle being tackled. That's Latrell. He's just a yeah. big, one of those big kids that can't handle being tackled. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is, this is, yeah. But that's, um, yeah, just looking at the, at the games on the weekend, bro, this is really going to be a tough, tough competition, man. And like I said before previously, there's probably only a couple of teams that you think you're probably going to get the win over because they're just not there yet. Yeah. Um, but that's that's really embarrassing for for St. George, bro. That was that was a pumping last night. Yeah, oh. that, was, that was pretty rough. Yeah, yeah, no, that was. Yeah. Especially against the Dolphins, far out. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, let's quickly hear uh, wrestling fiends. Where do you think the issues in the uh, defensive line? I think it's in your name. <laughs> We're not, not enough wrestling <laughs> fiends, bro. We need more wrestle. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And we just talked about that actually. Um, tightening up. Yeah. You can't, you got to control. Yeah. Up top. Everyone's going to be. Do you think that leg grab rule is kind of impacting us or no. uh, not really? Yeah. I, don't, I can't see much. Uh. No, I just don't think they're um, they're not completing the tackle, bro. The tackle isn't just holding the guy and tackling him to the ground. Tackle, the tackle ends when you put him on it. Like you've done the correct tackle technique when he's on his back, yeah, facing the wrong way. You know that that for me is when that the proper tackle technique. So yeah, yeah. Um, so I hear anyone have a, a nickname for Marata? You got anything that you call call Marata there, um, Josh? 
I've actually I met him, bro. Uh, oh, yeah. When he played for Para, he's a scary looking dude. So um, <laughs> I'm just gonna go with Marathon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't wait for Hakuna Marata to get. Oh, yeah, okay. Everyone's going with the Hakuna Maratas. Oh, okay. That's okay. 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 Yeah. We'll let you guys say that to him. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll stay out of it. <laughs> um, hey, shout out Josh Hill. This is from Twitter. Yeah, thank you, everyone that's coming from, tw from Twitter, um, bumping our numbers up a lot. CK Ooh. will bring a lot more defensively for our side, I think. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. I, I, I think we. I, I th do you think it's a bit hard on Tane at the moment? Like, I, I feel maybe at times. Um, there is a little bit of panic, maybe getting guys the wrong side of the rug. But is it that is it is the onus really on the forwards, at least at the start of the game, or do you think he's he's kind of missing some cues defensively, getting guys in the right spots? You mean um oh, sorry, Tane, yeah. Tane. From the back. No. No, no I'm I'm pretty comfortable with how um both the defense and like he made some great team, made an, an awesome tackle against I think it was Harry Grant. Uh, in the first half, no, no, he's he reads well, man. For a small guy, he can he can tackle. Um, I'm yep. quite comfortable, Josh. But um, awesome, awesome name, there, Josh from, from Twitter. <laughs> awesome name. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm comfortable. Yep. Uh, my name Clay says South have deeper set issues. I'm not sure that they're fully behind the. Yeah, you can sense that they're not behind their coach. That's why I'm pleased about where the wa where we are with the Waz. Absolutely. And here, wrestling fiends back. Big shout out to Josh Gage. Love your work. Look how far you've come, a.k.a. Aaron Lewis. Oh, what's up, Ez? Oh, Wrestling Fiends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, what's up, bro? <clears throat> hey, yes. yes I've, I've come far, very far, actually. Um, I'm probably about two hours flight from my house, so quite far, quite far to come <laughs> here. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, very nice. And uh, Jose, Jose. Senor Jose is saying, my favorite Josh Gage video is the Santa one. Santa didn't buy these presents. Daddy did. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, bro, like, didn't that ever, like, you, you've got your little girl and now, your little baby now. Don't you ever think, like, dad's the one. Mum and dad are the ones that put him <laughs> this over time, you know? Mum and dad bought you that. Not Santa, bro. Like, oh, no one's taking my credit, bro. No one's taking my credit. <laughs> That's that's all daddy right there. That's daddy working hard, keeping the lights on. That's that's what daddy's doing. <laughs> Do you feel the same, bro? Do uh, yeah. Same? Do, you have, yeah. Do, you have do you have Santa in your yeah, house? We do, we do, we do. We just started actually. She's only just turned two. So we, we've been just, we did the whole, the last Christmas we did the whole explaining of Santa. We put the cookies out <laughs> and the milk and, we, you know, we did the whole thing. So but I'm oh, sure no. after a couple of years, I'm going to be like, okay, when are we going to tell him? <laughs> oh, no. Um, my my six-year-old just walked past. For <laughs> oh, oh, Hi, bud. <laughs> you all right? Oh, good boy. All right, man. <laughs> nah, you're all crap. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You all right, bro? Okay. <laughs> nah, nah, that was Santa that got all that stuff. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was Santa that Santa he did all that stuff. <laughs> not, not me. No, I'm not the one pulling 60 hours a week, man, to, to buy you stuff. No, it wasn't. It was, it was Santa. <laughs> sorry, if, sorry, sorry if you could hear me on speaker. <laughs> good times, good times. <gasps> Timing. Um, Mamba Lowe's good potty guys. Do you think Tom Ali should get more minutes? He looked good and very good on his feet. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I think we both agree with uh, with that. Yeah, um, totally agree. Good comment. Fiends, do you get any perks, games, merch, etc.? Josh, oh, uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. He knows he does. <laughs> I, um, back when I was starting my uh my warriors fan career many years ago when i started my career i um i used to try and say that i was stacy jones bro i pulled it once at the penrith stadium <laughs> look, I had, you I had look like stace <laughs> i just got all my teeth <laughs> <clears throat> But I have uh, I've gone to the Penrith game, and I remember going up to uh, 
I wanted to go like, to walk in and I tried to just walk straight in and they're like, yeah. oh, have you got a ticket? I was like, oh, no, it's me. It's cool. I'm part of the coaching staff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Some Stacey joke. <laughs> and I had a mate there. I had one of the bro, one of the bros there with me, and he's like, "Hey, Stacy," and I was, "Hey, man," and he's like, "Get a quick yeah. photo, just sick, bro. I'll be be with you in a minute." <laughs> <laughs> they didn't let me in. <laughs> oh, mate. Hey, Nick, but, uh, hey, Nick, minute, guys. You're gonna see, I get, I get see Josh in the little. booth next to Webby with his, his NZ Warriors cap on. <laughs> <laughs> next to Shui Vasa, shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 Shui yeah. Vasa, <laughs> you'll see me. Oh man, <laughs> be cold, oh. brother. Uh, oh, this one here, no, no Josh. No, I've, 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 I've been the uniform. Yeah, the school uniform being expensive one. Oh, mate, you got all the classic hits, bro. These bro, are like you, classic um, hits. These are classic hits. These are cl- damn. I'm feeling old now. Um, yeah, because yeah, you probably won't have you won't have got the with, with your little one, but you wait till you go school uniform shopping, bro. It um changed my life. It changed my life, bro. It, the, my outlook on the world just changed. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. I took a hundred bucks, bro. I took a hundred bucks. So I was like, man, I'm gonna buy the best stuff for my children, you know, because my wife was like, Oh, could you could you go and get some school uniforms? It's your turn. And I was like, Yeah, man, I'm you know what? I'm gonna get a hundred bucks. Bro, I went there, I think I managed to get two shirts and some socks, bro. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's that bad, eh? Yeah, I know. They are bad, bro. That's like some mafia stuff, you know, because they only one shop can sell all of the uniforms. Yeah. I was like, bro, this is terrible, terrible stuff. But yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah no, no. I've Better seen the good. I've seen the ones at Warehouse, uh, and, I, and that's the school that my daughter's going to go to because <laughs> they've got the, I don't know what school it is, but my, hey, it looks pretty cheap from, from where it is, but nah. Yeah, bro, totally, totally. No, I um, I totally agree with you, bro. Um, quickly, Josh, what do you who do you boys what do you boys think is our best bench makeup with everyone fit? Um, I'll go Walker, uh, Marata, <clears throat> Ali. I like Ali. Prefer Ali, and I'll probably go CHT now that I've seen him play. Well, uh, what are, where are you at, Josh? Oh, it's a tough one. I would um. Probably if everybody was fit this week, that would be who, yeah, that would probably be close to my bench, bro. Walker, Marata, Ale, and CHT. Um, but give it another probably four or five rounds. Zion, bro, I think looks, yeah, Zion or Jacob, Laban. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, Ali Leotawa, bro. Oh, Leoto would be nice. Yeah, the Ma- Mount Smart Joik. Joike, my guy. Welcome in from the Twitter. From X. From X. Uh, <clears throat> oh, yeah, shout out Marty McClay. Yeah, this was me and Josh. I think I remember saying, nah, bro, you just focus on your own guy. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that's what we got to do. We've got to focus on our own guy again. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry about anyone else right now. Is that that's my son, eh? That was my yeah, my yeah. Friend. That's your son, yeah. bro. Has he yeah. has he sorted his kai out yet? Is he, is he, bro, he is still focusing on everyone else's kai <laughs> yeah, before bro. he's eating his own, bro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Don't worry about that, buddy. You just you just watch that, yeah. Oh, no, very good. Okay, guys, we're gonna. I think we should jump into the um the trying to gauge the ask Josh gauge yes. segment, man. Just about to wrap um, up. Good time. We're about, yep. we're about to wrap up. Uh, let me hit you up from some people on Instagram. If you have got a serious question or something, chuck it into the comments. We'll try to get to that as well. But we'll focus on the ones that came in from Insta, at least for now. Um, we have here, we've got uh, one sec. Um, um, Paracave podcast. I don't know if you guys know Para, but he's, um, yeah, he does the Paracave podcast. That's, yeah, that's who he is. Uh, is it Panic Stations yet, or is it just two rounds and, and all good? No, no, it's definitely not panic stations. Maybe for para, but not 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 for the warriors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out, shout out, para cave. Good, good, really good guy. Uh, really good guy. Um, this one's from Tim Gore. Uh, kind of a serious one. Um, any tips on for getting over severe heartbreak? <sighs> oh, oh, thinking about our younger years. <laughs> um. <laughs> Tim, 
sorry to hear. Sorry to hear that you're going through some serious heartbreak. I remember being heartbroken once or twice in, uh, in my 22 years of life. Um, but with the 45 years of experience that I have with life, Tim, there's a bunch of things you can do. One thing you need to do is get around the boys. Get around your mates. Be around your mates. There's probably one thing that I can do, man, for you. One, one word of advice that I could give you. Eat well. It's very important because nothing cures a sore heart like a hokey pokey double scoop ice cream from Awakere, um, Awakere gas shop in Awakere. So I would suggest, bro, eating well. That's really important. Um, exercise. And you're probably looking at me thinking, I haven't done much. And you're right, Tim, I haven't. <clears throat> probably could do some more exercise. <laughs> but, but just... Man, look at everything as a it's an opportunity, man. It's an opportunity for someone someone else or something else. I'll leave that with you. Ooh, ooh. I'll leave that with you. That's a nice one. That's a very oh, nice that was one. pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and and if anything, you, you might need to book a holiday in Hamilton Island, Great Barrier Reef. Hmm. I know that's probably a nice place to heal um, and to get over things. Take your mind off it a little bit. Just hmm. book, actually, Josh, give him the booking. Mm -hmm. uh, give them, give them, give them your next day. You guys check Ooh. out early and let them, let them jump up there quickly. Uh, Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, okay, back to some more footy type questions. How are you guys feeling after Saturday and how proud are you of the boys? I, I, I'm kind of one of, I've become one of those guys since doing analysis that I just sort of um, don't take it to heart too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have a, I have it on mute. I've been having it on mute lately as well, and I'm just like so. It's very quiet. Um, but um, yeah, I'm proud. Um, but sorry for me jumping in on Josh's segment. But yeah, Josh, what do you think, bro? I oh, know, no, jump in, bro. Um, I am super proud, bro. Super proud of how we're traveling. I'm I'm excited more so than proud. I'm excited mm. for what where we're at and where we're heading. So no, I'm good. I probably got room for another two more. Questions, bro. I think I have to. I think I have to. Go. I, I, we we are done. I think, man. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, everyone that's come in. Sixty six, man. That's almost tripled our numbers. Well, I um, think. That, yeah. <laughs> I think we had six. <laughs> yeah, we had six. Just <laughs> six last week. Unless the streaming service is trying to be kind to us and, and just chuck an extra an extra number on them yeah, to make you want to pay for their services. But happy um, to get some bots. Happy yeah, for yeah. it. <laughs> We're happy for some Russian bots. We appreciate that. Oh, we shouldn't say that because they'll, they'll they'll get through the algorithm. But yeah. We're happy for you guys. Um, yeah, please, if you before you leave, give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, we are here every Monday night, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to another week coming up. Uh, Josh, I'm gonna put you on the spot, but we are doing the post match on Friday night. You available or um, what? You want to jump yeah, on? Man. Yeah, yeah, let's jump on. So that's uh, full credit to the boys. Full credit to the boys will be there. On, with, uh, let's jump on in there, bro. I will yeah. be. So excited for our first win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're speaking it into existence, people. Um, but no, thank you, everyone, that's, that's come in and, and given a comment. And uh, we'll catch you guys uh, next week for the Mean Feed podcast. Peace. Stay safe. Stay safe.